This year hasn't been all bad. We got a brand new IT couple, Anna de Armas and Ben Affleck. The picture-perfect couple met on the set of Deep Water and have been inseparable ever since. The A-list couple spent their first Thanksgiving together, which is a big step for the pair who we learned were dating in March. They met while working together in New Orleans last year and it looks like they've been making major relationship moves ever since. While the couple have not yet publicly confirmed their relationship, they have been seen out and about showing an increasing amount of PDA. They are always smiling, hugging, and kissing when cameras are around, and we are here for it. They both seem happy with each other's company, so much so, it's contagious. Ben has gone through his ups and downs with relationships in the past. We talk privately mm -hmm. about how committed we are to our marriage. Uh, yes, right. See that? And Anna likes to remain private when it comes to matters of the heart, but actions speak louder than words, and these two seem attached at the hip. Ben and Anna play husband and wife in the upcoming psychological thriller Deep Water, which led to their whirlwind romance. It's reported that they kept it totally professional on set, but after rapping, they jumped into a relationship in real life, and even vacationed in Cuba and Costa Rica together. Before finding each other, falling in love, and taking beach vacations to die for, the two were both married to other people. Ben Affleck was previously married to actress Jennifer Garner, who he also met on set. Set. The two starred in Pearl Harbor, which shot in 2000. They got married in 2005 and had three kids together. Publicly, their marriage was perfect. They looked loving and were always smiling on red carpets and laughing together. Ben even thanked Jennifer when he won his Golden Globe in 2013, saying, I adore you, I love you, you're my everything. Unfortunately, in 2015, the pair announced that they would be divorcing, saying, We go forward with love and friendship for one another and a commitment commitment to co-parenting. In 2018, they officially divorced. Ben had struggled with addiction and mental health issues, and has said that the divorce helped open his eyes. Earlier this year, he told the New York Times that his divorce from Jennifer Garner was the biggest regret of his life. In the same interview, he said, I have certainly done things that I regret, but you've got to pick yourself up, learn from it, learn some more, and try to move forward. On the other hand, Anna was married to actor Mark Clotet from 2011 to 2013, she hasn't spoken out publicly about their marriage and remains very private about her relationships. So there's not a lot of information about why the two called it quits. Anna is reportedly still friends with her ex-husband and there's no bad blood between the two. If you're wondering where you've heard Mark Clotet's name before, he most recently was featured in the Netflix series The Hockey Girls, where he plays the coach for an all-girls hockey team. While Anna remains private about her love life, she's not afraid to post on social media, and Ben has popped up quite a few times since we learned about the brand new relationship in March. While Ben still doesn't follow Anna on Instagram, we can't let that cloud the situation, because Instagram just isn't real life. These two just can't seem to keep their hands off of each other. From walking the dogs to exploring international beaches to snapping the perfect selfies, they look absolutely perfect together. A source told People they had great chemistry right from the start, adding that Anna always greets people people with a smile and never complains. The source described the actress as very calm with a sweet personality. Anna is also described as beautiful inside and out, so it's no wonder Ben fell head over heels for her. Earlier this year, Ben opened up about years of battling addiction and his decision to be sober. He said in an interview with Diane Sawyer that he really wanted to have a healthy, stable, loving, committed relationship. How important it is for me to be sober now during these formative years for my kids. When he was asked to look five years into his future, he said he saw a life full of happiness with his kids and a future partner. Was he talking about Anna? It sounds like it because she moved into his LA mansion in September, and the couple were recently photographed walking Ben's dogs with his kids. While it feels like a whirlwind romance to all of us watching it unfold, Ben and Anna have had a long time to get to know each other and fall in love with each other since they met last year, and have even been quarantining together. Together. While they have not yet publicly confirmed their relationship, it's pretty obvious they're dating. While on set of Deep Water, a source said they kept their relationship professional and private. But in March, when filming stopped, the two took off on some beautiful vacations and showed off their love to the world. The two were spotted together in Havana, Cuba earlier this year. Anna, who is Spanish and Cuban, reportedly acted as Ben's tour guide while they were on vacation. A source said that Ben looked like he loved the trip, and the two were in 
great moods and really friendly, even stopping to take photos with fans. Ben even spoke Spanish to Anna while they were traveling. While it seemed the two would have liked to keep their relationship a little more under wraps, they were spotted kissing at the airport when their trip was over. They just can't keep their hands off each other. Cuban beaches weren't the only ones the inseparable couple hit this year. People and Pop Sugar published photos of the lovebirds hanging out in Costa Rica. In a series of pictures, Ben is seen kissing Anna and snapping photos of her while they walk. The brunette bombshell even posted one of the photos Ben took of her to Instagram. Ben playfully commented, photo credit please. They say you know it's serious when he can be your Instagram boyfriend and it looks like Ben is filling that role quite nicely. A source told Us Weekly that Ben is so sweet to Anna and does whatever he can to make her happy. The source said she can say anything, lunch, trips, etc., and he will make it happen. The couple even went on a double date with Matt Damon, Ben's best friend, and his wife, Luciana Barroso. Need more proof that these two are the perfect couple? When Ben turned 48 in August, Anna surprised him with his own custom BMW motorcycle. The two have been spotted taking the bike out for rides all over LA. We're in the middle of the holiday season, a season that could make or break new couples, but it looks like the festive season is only making Ben and Anna's relationship stronger. The two spent their first Thanksgiving together in LA at Ben's home. They were joined by Ben's three children, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. A source told People that everyone seemed very happy over Thanksgiving, and Ben and Anna seem great. A source told Hollywood Life that Anna has no problem bonding with Ben's kids and gets along great with them. While the relationship is still new, the source said that most people are drawn to Anna's sweet nature, and it was no different for Ben's kids. Ben is known for being a great co-parent with Jennifer Garner, and it's reported that Ben discussed the idea of introducing the kids to Anna with Jennifer first. The source said in the same interview that Jennifer can see that Anna means a lot to Ben, and she is a real positive influence in his life. But I don't mind, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Another source even said that Jennifer is impressed with Ben's relationship with Anna, and thinks he's on the right path with his health. Next up is Christmas. Ben usually spends Christmas with Jennifer Garner and their three children in Montana. We wonder if Ben and Anna will continue this tradition this year as a couple. That would certainly be a significant event for their relationship. It seems like this couple has a bond that only gets stronger and stronger, and we can't wait to see how their love blossoms. After having relationships that didn't work out, it seems like these two have found a stable and loving partner in one another. Their movie, Deep Water, comes out in 2021, and while they still remain very tight-lipped about their love, it's quite clear they're smitten. It looks like the two are getting more and more comfortable stepping out in public, from posting on Instagram, to taking quarantine walks, and now spending Thanksgiving together. The A-list couple were even spotted touring a property in Venice Beach. It's still unclear if they're looking for a new home together, but we would totally support them if they were. Women's Day reported that they are house hunting and are interested in a five-bedroom mansion so that there's plenty of room for Serafina, Violet, and Samuel. Anytime photos of the two surface, they seem to go viral, so it was no different when photos were released of Anna playing with Ben's kids on social media. Everyone was smiling and we were treated to some really wholesome content. Rumors continue to spread that the two are considering getting married soon, and while we have no idea if they will, that would definitely be a happy and loving next chapter in this story. Reports have surfaced that Ben already proposed to Anna and gave her a temporary engagement ring as a placeholder until jewelry stores are back in business, with the idea that she can pick the ring of her dreams. 2021 is a big year for Anna. She has three projects set to come out, No Time to Die, Blonde, and Deep Water. She is quickly becoming one of the most famous and sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Ben is quite busy himself. He has Deep Water, The Last Duel, and Zack Snyder's Justice League coming out next year to name a few. Regardless of how busy these two are, they look like they are able to make time to nurture their relationship. We love to hear from you. What do you think of Hollywood's new It Couple? Let us know in the comment section below. For more videos on the latest in pop culture and beauty trends, subscribe to The Taco. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video.